Well, uh, Tamaki Makoto Bird Rehabilitation Centre is asking people to be on the lookout for seabirds ending up where they wouldn't ordinarily be found. Auckland's long summer means Cook's petrels are taken to the skies sooner than usual and they're getting a bit lost. Giles Dexter reports. These little battlers are receiving some much-needed R&R. Their long journey has taken an unexpected detour. It could be days to even a couple of weeks, depending on what's going on. And, of course, that means a lot of nursing care. Cook's petrels breed on Little Barrier and Great Barrier Islands, as well as Codfish Island near Rakiura. Once they take flight, they'll stay out at sea, covering tens of thousands of kilometres before returning to nest. But sometimes they tend to take a little diversion into people's backyards and the streets. Auckland is right in the middle of the like, migratory route up to the Tasman, so like, the bright lights of the city are just super disorientating. Once on the ground, it's hard to take off again. They're not meant to be on something flat. You know, if you think of it, they're always in something buoyant from the air to on the water surface once they've fledged. And so, yes, they look pretty darned awkward, don't they? Awkward, but with plenty of attitude. They don't look spunky, but they actually are. And I love watching them. You know, they just give you such a thrill to watch them to eyeing each other up and then going over and going boing, boing, boing. Cook's petrels are no strangers to bird care Aotearoa. Last April, 148 passed through its doors in three weeks. This year, admissions already look set to be much higher. With Auckland's exceptionally warm and unusually long summer, breeding started earlier and the migration season is kicked off three weeks early, meaning more petrels are being stranded sooner. Oh, look what I found. Like this intrepid explorer, which Phil Tuttle found in his Titirangi garden. Didn't recognise it immediately. It's not the kind of bird that you'd normally see in the yard. The centre looks after all manner of feathered friends like ducks, kingfishers and this incredibly photogenic gannet. It relies on public donations and public knowledge. If you can get a towel or a cardigan or something around them, not your bare hands, mostly because we have oils on our hands and it just compromises their waterproofing. Tomorrow, a number will be released off Auckland's west coast, a perfect place for their odyssey to finally begin again. Charles Dexter, News Hub.